so far in the conference it's good to spread and make produce an effort. Today we're talking about this year of issue, the most important issue at the Venice Biennale. That's a question. Yes, no. What's the question? What's the question? Is the Arab issue the most important issue at the Venice Biennale? Some people have made stories about that, that the revolution started in the Arab countries, it will, uh, it will uh, infect Europe, expand in Europe, uh, conquer Europe. I don't know, I didn't see that, maybe I didn't see that, what's, uh, what's going on? But I haven't seen what do you think? The Arab Revolution is the most important issue here in the Biennale? Oh. I, you know what? I haven't seen the whole thing, but I didn't notice anything from you what I've seen. Nothing? I mean... But what do you think? It, it, it's going to be important for Europe, for Asia, for, for everything that there's going to be a revolution ongoing? I think it will be important for the area. Um, but will it be important for us? Will it be important for everyone? Is it important for Biennale? Is it important for the Biennale? Well, at first I thought maybe it could be great, but no. Today I saw nobody here in the family photo in Iraq, so not even the Arabs take this topic for serious at the moment. We are talking about the depressions of uh, images and things in this Biennale and we think that uh, they are not so present the Arab situation but it was at the exhibition of the video I think it No, I'm, I'm debating with them So, you see something else apart from the Egyptian what, what, what have you seen up, uh, from the Arab uh, In the artwork? Egyptian pavilion there were footage from but I think they're not, they are not taking serious themselves this thing. They don't think they don't think it's really a topic themselves. Yes. Maybe that's for it's it's not a main issue, maybe. At the, at the beginning I thought, but nobody's coming for the family photo and so we've lost a lot of So what do you think? Should, yeah. should this be the issue for Biennale or not? Well it is the issue of the Biennale. Whether the Biennale likes it or not, because if you take the title of the Biennale, it's very much uh, connected. About, connected about the issue of national state. Yeah, but I think they, they don't take it serious. Nobody takes it serious. Not the Biennale, not even the Arab uh, pavilions. Uh, yeah, because they are very careful. Their art is very selective, it's very politicized, and it's very trying to uh, to be modest and not somehow uh, provoke anybody and i think this is a uh, this is a poor representation yeah yeah that's that's what i think that's yeah. right yeah yeah so maybe it's just it's probably the most uh, work authentic work that represents i would not say the arab yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, but uh, how by now that probably this will work as a strong. Actually, it was running under <laughs> circumstances. It was running to us. Uh, it was born in a, in a different time, in difficult time. The artwork at the Egyptian Biennale uh, uh, pavilion. And you and you think that it's a good work, or? Uh, you know, the man lost his life when he yeah. was working on this on this uh, installation. But this could have been this. Oh, excuse me. Yes. Do you think Vichy Kuragi took this title because she thought this would be a top issue? Uh, yeah, because in a way, uh, do we scare this revolution? Uh, do we want to hide it? Uh, so uh, if we don't speak about it, it's because the world has not changed. We, uh, this is far from us. But like we spoke about, the Egyptian guy died. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's easy. I mean, we have a Biennale where a guy, uh, he was killed during the revolution to do the Biennale. I think maybe the title is already artwork because she's not taking anything serious. Yeah? Not even the title of her own show and not, not the topic of real things going on like the Arab Revolution. Yeah. Anything. Okay, we take one more to the last one. I'm sorry. We say please. Can what do you say? Sorry, I wasn't... I'm trying to have an opinion and I, an idea. Oh. And uh, the institutions that 
I saw a picture. Uh, somebody show me about the Egyptian pavilion. And maybe I think that that could be a good work on this revolution, Arab revolution. But uh, I haven't seen there in the Giardini oh, representation. <laughs> Yeah, Nobody told me, I lost my skirt. <laughs> I lost my skirt. Okay. No, that doesn't matter. I didn't speak the point to as American. We have a revolution in the world. Many people talking about, but do you think it's represented? It's poorly represented. There was some constellations in the... Uh, just a few yeah. of the pavilions. I think it's very important, but I don't think it will revolutionize anything else in Europe. I don't think that uh, that Italians will follow or any other nation will follow. The, the American Revolution was you know, 300 years ago, over 300 years ago, and this is happening now. It's very important, and it's not being represented as it should. I think it's an important issue. Ah, uh, yes. No, I think it's important because um, it shows that there is a certain undercurrent of uh, democracy. Now, whether it's a, a real revolution... You mean, uh, they exclude themselves from any participation. Oh, like I, Bahrain. Yeah. But Bahrain is not part of the revolution. Oh, yeah? Bahrain is against the revolution. They are. The government. They shut down the Pearl Center, yeah. the monument in the center of Bahrain, right. and they sent in these special forces. Yeah. In addition, in addition, they have been uh, working with uh, working with uh, Black, what used to be Blackwater, which is now XE, yeah. to train Colombians to put down revolutions. What happens? if a democratic government elects a dictator, like Hitler, in 1932, right. in 33, he was democratically elected. Yeah. So should the United States support a democratically elected person who's a racist? Um, you know, I think the problem is we live in an immediate media world.